Efren Reyes is a professional pool player from the Philippines and has been the world champion two times. And the winner with his gold medal, his check for $60,000, his official trophy and the title of the world professional pool champion, the magician! Reyes wins it. He wins it. And I'm not going to say anything else, Mike. Efren Reyes has just said He is widely regarded as the best player in the world among pool players. He has mesmerized pool fans all over the world with his one-of-a-kind skills that earned him the well-deserved moniker, The Magician, an unshakable nickname that still sticks to him to this day. In some matches, he could find absolutely no meaningful hurdles to go through, but the man regarded as one of the best pool players of all time said he is human too, and found some opponents tougher to beat than others. Nonetheless, his actions as a pro player is a series of incredible high-level performances, spanning widely the years of his career. He's going to kill the ball and try and put it behind either the five or six. Oh, oh my wow. God! Oh boy, bingo. In this video, we are listing some of the best performances by this former nine ball world champion and three time U.S. Open champion during his Hall of Fame career. Number four, 2004 Derby City Classic Nine Ball. Efren Reyes Perfect Match versus Jimmy Wetch. Mr. Jimmy Wetch, give a hand for Jimmy Wetch, please. Thank you, Louisville. And his opponent, once again, is sponsored on tour by Puyat Sports, player representative for San Miguel Beer, Louisville before, terrific player from the Republic of the Philippines. Please welcome the magician himself, Mr. Efren Reyes. Let's hear it for him. Thank you. And gentlemen, you may like for the first break. Let's get it on. At the sixth annual Derby City Classic in Louisville, Kentucky, the audience are welcome to witness one of the greatest performances by the living legend. It was the ninth day of nine days when the tournament was about to wrap up. The terrific player billiard room proprietor from Columbus, Minnesota, Jimmy Wetch, was up against the Filipino magician legend Efren Bata Reyes. Jimmy Wetch had already lost to some match on the tournament, whereas Efren was still undefeated when this match began. The situation was clear that whether Efren won or lost, he'd still be standing on the tournament as it proceeded to the next matches. At the time, Reyes was already known as a beast in the field, while Jimmy has championed McDermott Masters and Hubler Cup. Hence, the Filipino beast didn't hesitate to show his humongous abilities for what was an approximately 30-minute match. Reyes got out of the match in four innings. Yeah, Reyes is uh, really, really hot. I mean, he, uh, he was struggling in position for it to go. Billiard. The cue ball. Yeah, it doesn't... Numerate. In the beginning of the tournament, but when it got near the final, he got... He played such an intimidating game with ease in contrast to Jimmy, who was seen frustrated by his own game. Jimmy was either suffering or enjoying the quality of Reyes' top quality play. The result was predictable. Reyes collected the win easily from Jimmy Wedge with 63 balls pocketed while Jimmy had zero. Yeah. Killed the cue ball and hit the point of the uh, rubber, and that's how he got position. Uh, are we coming to an end here? The end of him. Which is, remember we kind oh, of no, flinched on some uh, of those strokes? He got pocketed every ball. He hasn't had a tournament 
and uh, looks so easy the audience didn't even recognize the difficulty. This stops you from strength was in it. He never had a chance. Perfect match. What a terrific, terrific match. The final score was 7-0 to zero for Reyes. And backstage, the commentator asked Reyes a fundamental question anybody would ask to the beast of the game. Why are you so mean? Which then Reyes replied shyly. Number 3. 1996 PBT Legends of Nine Ball Tournament. Efren Reyes vs. Jim Remby. Get started from the Commerce Casino right after we pause for this message. Billiard Network Classic held a pro pool exhibition in Philadelphia where Efren Reyes was up against Jim Rempe at the semifinal. The winner would face Jimmy Wetch the next week. Efren Reyes, as a national treasure of the Philippines, enticed much attention from his fans, either his fellow Filipinos or not, to cheer for him during the game. After all, with his acrobatic billiard sequence, it's hard for anyone in the room not to clap. The match was even more thrilling to the end as Rempe was down 9-4 but then chased after Reyes and made the score 10-9. Come, come back, gentlemen, down 9-4. Really great shots in this match. Yes, he did. Coming back. Down 9-4, he had to be 8-5 not even to get to the table. Rempe had his shoulders tensed and eyes petrified as Reyes was able to even it up to 10 to 10. Yes. Yes. To 10. Corner. Over the cheese. Unbelievable. So there we are. It is tied 10 games apiece. 10. Reyes now with the break. The deciding road to score the 11th point for both players was crucial. At the end, Reyes made his way to the semifinal by putting his magnificent shots in showcase. Oh my god, he hit it a million miles an hour! He hit it a million Almost. miles an hour! I don't know how he did that! The crowds went wild as he won the game and Jim Rempe congratulated his opponent. Number 2. 2005 U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. Efren Reyes vs. John Schmidt. Schmidt was known for being a great frontrunner. He's often very focused and untroubled during the first few rounds of matches. He rarely makes any mental mistakes to protect his lead. This certain phase and specialty of him clearly showed in this match against Reyes. At round three of the U.S. Open, John Schmidt was facing the world's greatest player in Chesapeake, Virginia. He was untouchable after 10 racks and was shooting a 980 performance average to lead the game with 6-4. But Efren did not want to lose himself that easy. He tied the game at 8-8. What happens later is a proof of inconsistencies from Schmidt as his performance was going downhill. He's not thinking of that. What he did was hit that ball. And getting it into the intended area. And he's enjoying speed what you know was but Schmidt has punished every one of them down. When he does make him uh oh uh oh Reyes, on the contrary, just kept getting better as the game went on. He finally found his muse and perfect strategy for a great comeback. A chance sprung as Reyes poked one ball out on his break attempt. Schmidt took his chance. He was shaky and kept making terrible shots which left him in uncomfortable positions. As we could predict, Efren Reyes proceeded to round four of the game to collect his second U.S. Open title, beating Schmidt 11-8 with a phenomenal comeback. And he doesn't. It's like a little bit of a shock. Imagine how a player feels. And this nine to close things out. And there you have it, the magician threw the round four, an 11-8 win over John Schmidt. The U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship is a production of Billiard Club Network. For more, log on to billiardclub.net. 
Number 1. 1996 Nine Ball Competitions Efren Reyes vs. Earl Strickland Of course, who could forget the matches Reyes and Strickland fought at the peak of their careers? None was more memorable than their Color of Money showdown, a three-day race to 129 ball competition in which Reyes won in 1996. Efren Reyes and Earl Strickland were selected to face off in one of the legendary events. The event, which contains a nine-ball race to 120, was held in Hong Kong, with the winner entitled to a prize of $100,000. Reyes won the event by a score of 120 to 117. This is the single biggest prize pool event in the billiards world. Earl Strickland is an American professional billiard player born on June 8, 1961. He's considered another best billiard player of all time alongside Reyes because of his outstanding champion performances and also because of his eccentric temperament and controversial behavior. But yet his anguish and coldness is not really shown all along the match. Perhaps even a player of his caliber is mesmerized and astounded by the magic shown by Reyes. It was also against the Pearl, where Reyes shot this incredible three-cushion shot. Reyes said he admired Strickland's pocketing skills. It's good to play nine ball because he's a shooter, said Reyes, adding he was hardly bothered by the antics of the temperamental American goat. It simply came to our notice then. Pride that will not go away, said Reyes, recollecting his memories of the iconic game. Efren Reyes wins it. He wins it. And I'm not going to say anything else, Mike. Efren Reyes has just said it all for us. We'll have the awarding ceremony in just a short while. We hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.